There I was deeply involved in the, uh, in the, sketch, in the sketching of every sequence. This is something I learned a great deal from, from Walt. Uh, and what really happened was that you would um, do your sketches and he would come around and check them. Uh, and uh, then you were not, you were not as a director forced into keeping exactly to that, but you were forced to keep to the exactly to the spirit of that. And if you started diverting, you would get a question from him, why are you doing this way? And I can remember on, I think it was probably Sword in the Rose, I started concertinering a little bit, a sequence, and Walt said, well, why didn't you shoot exactly to what we'd agreed. And I said, well, I was told we were going over budget and uh, I was trying to save a little, uh, I'd been brought up on uh, making pictures economically. He said, have I ever queried the budget? Have I ever asked you, asked you to cut? Let's keep to what we agreed. <laughs> and uh, from that moment onward, especially when we got to Swiss Family, I followed that and sometimes had to batter everybody else, but I was working, I was Walt's ma man, knowing I appreciated the fact that he never came and looked over my shoulder. He never, once we had agreed uh, everything in, on pictures and in discussion, then if you, as long as you were prepared to do your very best to achieve that, that's what he left you with. Now, I also realized quite quickly, especially on Sword in the Rose, that Walt's decisions were pretty wonderful. He was, he was a genius in, in making scenes or in helping you to make scenes that always he had the audience his general overall family audience in mind and he knew what he was making for them. That was Walt's greatest genius.